M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm using the DV Mega Genesis Hotspot and it is receiving DAPnet, okay? It's a touch screen monitor. It'll probably let me touch it once it times out when someone talks. There you are, there's the messages there. Okay, now what I've got myself here is a pager because the idea is eventually those messages that you're seeing on the screen, I know it's a bit bright. Let's try and zoom it. I'll be able to get on a pager. Why do that? Well, why not? It's fun. So I've got this pager. It's an EM300. It, has, it says 439-9200 megahertz, but I'm hoping that we can change that frequency within the settings. So... The one they recommend is actually a different one, but it was about a hundred pounds. So I thought I'd try this. I'll let you know the model of the one they do recommend, though. Yeah, did you see that? It's the. I'm just click on it again. We're on the DAPnet site. It's the Alpha Poc 602 paging receiver. Remember, these are receivers. Okay, it looks like that, and then I'll show you what my one looks like. It looks like that. So it has a case and it has a came with a battery. So obviously, I've got to learn myself program that now you can get a programming cable but they're really expensive but they apparently you can put your RIC number and your frequency in as long as the the unit has been designed to work on that frequency and the toll and that and according to the eBay listing it has what 439 I think it's 439 it could be let me check there's the frequency there and the interesting thing is that your hotspot will actually send once you've enabled, go into configuration, enable POXAG, and it will actually transmit to your pager. Now, um, you've still got your DMR going on here, or the usual settings I'm using on DMR, and you do have a transmit key that you have to get from DAPnet, okay? Now, DAPnet, I've got done about five videos showing you how to create an account. So go to their site and create yourself an account. You get a, a, a username, and a password, but then you get a transmitter authorization key that goes into your hotspot, okay? MMDVM hotspot. So the next thing is, is for me to try and learn to turn this on, which I've, of course, it's a brand new item. It was 50 pound delivered. If it works, then we've had a result here. It means I can give you all the link and you can get it working. Now I've seen people on YouTube using the same pager so i'm fingers crossed i've also seen people sending sms messages so you go menu go down to where is it i did see it here maybe it's settings settings radio set there's definitely a setting in here i can't find it now give me a minute okay you, you need to be on a dmr channel to see the sms so menu then SMS, look, you can send, new message, type your message and send. Now, I haven't worked out where we send it or how we send it or how we get it to our hotspot. Now, or whether we even go via our hotspot, I literally don't know. If someone's done SMS messaging with their any tone or any DMR radio and got it to show up on their MMDVM dashboard, please let me know because that's the next thing I want to learn. And then... Normally, I just tap here and I can go to my DAP, DAPnet settings. I'll probably have to reboot it. Typical that it's not working now. But anyway, having fun. Pager, we've got our extensive manual here. I'll show you it. Look at that, the size of it. Lots to learn. So, I mean, that's the whole point of the hobby, if you ask me. You're trying out things and then people say, well, what's the point of this? What's the point of that? Well, that's why it's a hobby. There is no point. Bye for now, 7-3.